hasn't James Gunn mentioned Margot Robbie's Harley Quinn as one of the returning characters for the DCU? That is actually the topic of today's Mint Mobile hotline question of the day. Listen, guys, if you got a question for the show, we'd like to hear your voice on it. Go ahead and call Ryan Reynolds' own Mint Mobile hotline at 951-268-4259. And today's is about, could Margot Robbie be in the DCU? Check it out. Hi, John. My name is Anne Marie. I'm reaching out because I know James Gunn in DC recently announced that they're having three actors come back, Blue Beetle, Amanda Waller, and Peacemaker. But I was kind of shocked that Harley Quinn wasn't included on that, especially with this success of Barbie and Marco Robbie hype. Why don't you think they're having her come back? Thanks so much. Bye. All right. Thanks a lot for calling that in, Anne Marie. And yeah, listen, James Gunn has recently mentioned that obviously Amanda Waller is, is, is coming back. John Cena's Peacemaker is coming back. And Sholo is going to be playing Blue Beetle. Although it's not going to be in continuity with the Blue Beetle movie we just had. So it's going to be the same actor playing it, but it's going to kind of be a, a different set of circumstances. Now, he also recently mentioned that what was the name of Peacemaker's right-hand man best friend? Not eagerly. Vigilante? Vigilante, thank you. He also mentioned that Vigilante's come back, which makes me think that like the cast of Peacemaker is coming back, which I have no qualms with because, again, I've mentioned before, there's really nothing connecting season one of Peacemaker to the DCEU other than a cameo at the end of the season, which you can easily retcon. So I'm, I'm fine with that. But why not Margot Robbie? Especially considering that, as Anne-Marie has pointed out, that Barbie is the number one film in the world this year. So obviously she's really hot. Why not bring her back? Well, I would suggest this, that you never put the actor first, right? Story comes first. All, all good actors will tell you that. The story comes first, then character, then the actor associated with them, right? And if what they're doing, like, look, if you suddenly randomly just bring Margot Robbie back, then, then it's raising a bunch of questions about why then is Gal Gadot not coming back. Why is Henry Cavill not coming back, right? So all that kind of stuff. So you got to have a really good, purposeful reason, not just because, well, Margot Robbie's hot right now. So just bring back Harley Quinn. Well, then you could go, but what about the business? The business aspect of it. Barbie is the number one film in the world. It made more money than any other film opening weekend. It made more money than any other movie period worldwide this year. Margot Robbie's really hot. So just for the box office alone, maybe Shatter. you should bring back, you know, Harley Quinn being played by Margot Robbie. And by the way, just for the record, I adore Margot Robbie. She is a Academy Award nominated actress. She's going to win an Academy Award sometime in her career. I think she's fabulous. And I love her as Harley Quinn. But you can't bring her back just based on box office because take away Barbie? There's no argument to be made that she equals box office. Uh, take a look at this. If we take out Barbie and just look at the last bunch of films that she has done, let's look at the box office. Babylon, in which she had a tremendous cast with her, including Brad Pitt. That movie only made $63 million. That's not opening weekend. That's not domestic. That's worldwide. Before that, she was in another film with a Big cast, Christian Bale, John David Washington, uh, uh, Taylor Swift in Amsterdam. That movie worldwide made $31 million. Then she did The Suicide Squad, $161 million. Her standal quote unquote standalone Birds of Prey as Harley Quinn only made half of a Black Adam, made $205 <laughs> million. Then the biggest one she did, won some Oscars, got a lot of Oscar attention. Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, even that didn't make one Black Adam. Made $377 million. Then she did Mary Queen of Scots with Saoirse Ronan, $46 million worldwide. And then a movie that is wonderful and got her an Academy Award nomination, I, Tanya, fantastic. Only made $53 million. Now, look, I think having a talent on the level of a Margot Robbie in your movie will make your movie better. But unfortunately, despite what's happening with Barbie, you can't just say, put Margot Robbie in your movie, 
and that will equal box office. The numbers tell a different story. So why doesn't James Gunn put her in? Well, I think because it's a brand new DCU. You got to minimize how much you bring over. And I'm sure he's going to narratively have reasons why those characters are coming over. And you can't even just make the argument just based on finances because the stats show that Margot Robbie alone, like most actors, does not automatically equal big box office because the numbers tell us so. So that's probably why. Guys, we want to take a second to thank a sponsor of today's video, Mint Mobile. Signing your life away to a big wireless provider is kind of like being trapped on a roller coaster from hell. Sure, it looks like fun at first. They probably even threw in a free phone, but now you can't get off. Month after month of insane bills and unexpected thrills, like overages and surprise fees. If that sounds like your current big wireless plan, it's time to get off the ride with Mint Mobile. For a limited time, wireless plans for Mint Mobile are just $15 a month. That's unlimited talk, text, and data for just 15 bucks a month. You guys know before I came to Mint Mobile, I was paying triple what I am paying now on the standard big wireless plan, and I will never go back. All plans come with unlimited talk, text, and high-speed data delivered on the nation's largest 5G network. Use your own phone with any Mint Mobile plan and bring your phone number along with all your existing contacts. To get your new unlimited wireless plan for just 15 bucks a month and get the plan shipped right to your door for free, go to mintmobile.com slash campia. That's mintmobile.com dot com slash campia cut your wireless bill to just 15 bucks a month at mintmobile.com slash campia anyway chris you know i think you love margot robbie mm -hmm. too she's fantastic I, I love seeing and i love her harley quinn but i i don't find it very confusing why they wouldn't bring her back for this i don't know what do you think about the question about should they bring her back and do you think maybe at the end of the day because james gunn did love working with her do you think at the end of the day she will be back I, I adore Margot Robbie, and I think I'm the only person in this room, and possibly on this live stream, who really enjoyed Birds of Prey. I love that movie I so like much. I Birds of Prey. Yeah. I just, it wasn't. Yeah. All right, it's the two of you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I liked I, Birds of Prey. I really I liked it. it, and that soundtrack is really good. The soundtrack is good. Great soundtrack. Yeah. Obi-Wan was awesome in it. Yeah, Hugh yeah. McGregor was yeah. great in it. He did a good job. But I don't... Mm, She's played the role multiple times now. She's an Academy caliber actress who I agree. I think she definitely is going to win one within her lifetime. I don't know if she's going to want to come back too. She said, oh, for sure she'd work with James Gunn again. We had the report from the direct back in March, but she's going to have a pretty full slate because even though she hasn't necessarily been box office guarantee now with Barbie, I think once the actor strike is over, that's going to open up a lot of doors for her. And oh, I think 100%. she's going to get a lot of scripts to choose from. So I do think she's going to have a pretty full dance card and she's going to need a really phenomenal reason to come back and play Harley. It's something mind blowing. And that has to be a script also that makes sense for her to come back to. You know, it makes sense right now to have Viola Davis return as Amanda Waller. It makes sense to have John Cena return as Peacemaker. Those kinds of things. It's going to have to make sense for her. And right now, we don't know who our Bruce Wayne is. We don't know if he even has a Joker at this point. We don't know if Harleen Quinzel has started giving him his medical treatments, you know, <laughs> and performing psychology and everything. Hmm. So it have to make sense. And narratively right now, it doesn't. There's no narrative. So that has to be established first before we can decide if she's even going to come back. And when I say we, I mean James Gunn and Margot Robbie, not <laughs> you know, me. <laughs> here's, here's the thing. I know this is the one of the, I, I carry many unpopular opinions. If that's okay, being right can be lonely. <laughs> but one of the- What <laughs> thing to say? I got to make a t-shirt that says that. <laughs> being right can be lonely. <laughs> but one of the most unpopular opinions that I have is that I really 100% believe that one of the biggest missed opportunities about the DCEU was them not doing more and leaning more into the dynamic between Margot Robbie and Jared Leto as Harley and Joker. I adored that toxic relationship. I thought when they were on screen together, I thought it was absolute dynamite. That whole scene they did with Common in the uh, in the club and everything too. I mean, I ate that stuff up. I, no, I no, really no, no, thought, no. and you know, the, the, <laughs> the director, you know, he said they actually ended up cutting a lot of the their interactions together out of the movie that he's always regretted. And I really thought that was a big missed opportunity. I know not people agree with me, and that's fine. 
being right can be lonely. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching this video. Make sure you like the video, leave a comment, and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget, we have a daily podcast called the John Campy Show Podcast, available on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or your favorite podcasting app of choice. Go and subscribe to it today so it'll be there when you need it.